The Words of This Life with Apostle Grace Lubeck. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16, Paul is telling the church that may the word of God dwell in you richly. May you get to a point where the thing coming out of you is wealth and it is the word. May the word of God dwell wealthily in you. May the word of God be your wealth. What is the word? Proverbs chapter 5 verses 1. He says, my son, be attentive to my wisdom. And he says, and incline your ear to my understanding of what is becoming unprudent for you. That you may exercise proper discrimination and discretion. He says, for the lips of a loose woman drip honey as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil, but in the end she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged and devouring sword. Her ways wind about aimlessly, and you cannot know her. This loose woman is not just the physical individual of a woman if you leave it there you lose the revelation the man of wisdom likened a two-edged sword to the spirit of deception that was at work in the loose woman the writer is trying to bring a deeper wisdom here than what the eye can see what is surrounding this woman is a spirit and what is surrounding that spirit is deception and the writer of scripture tells you that the spirit of deception is a two-edged sword so when you go in hebrews chapter 4 verses 12 the bible doesn't say that the word of god is as sharp as a two-edged sword no he says but the word that speaks is alive and full of power making it operative energizing and effective he said it is sharper this word this particular word is sharper than any deception the word of god is flawless it's without error it's the beginning of everything true in it there is no deception there is no misleading there is no error there is no fault when god says i love you it is true when god says you are healed it is true and for more of this join us every thursday at umalugogo from 5 p.m to 9 p.m finero make manifest